Good morning, uh, Saturday, October 12th, 2024, here in Sarasota, Florida. That's the Gregorian matrix date. The date on the 13 moon galactic dream spell calendar is electric 23 today, electric 23. Um, just capturing a short video, uh, to be honest, I'm quite exhausted. Um, and as uh, I emerge from the other side of this experience of back-to-back -back hurricanes mixed in with back-to-back out-of-town work trips, um, and in my world, as uh, anybody knows that's followed my work even just a little bit, there are so many layers to the way that I experience my life and my reality. Um, trying to emerge on the other side of this experience and um, I'm, I'm still in it. I'm still in it. It's a lot to process. It's hard to focus on how fortunate I was, my immediate area, was when there's so much destruction and devastation and loss around just in this area, let alone as you pan out to the rest of the state. And of course, as you pan out even further and reach um, North Carolina, which obviously bore, I would say, the brunt of Helene. It's just a lot to process. Um, having lived directly uh, through this, I mean, literally, literally lived through the eye of a hurricane, Cat 3 hurricane. Um, there's just a lot to process with it. And because I so thoroughly know that my role on the human team right now, in part, is to speak my story and share my story. It's, uh, I, I, I feel trepidation right now because there are so many things I could say and share that can be misinterpreted, received the wrong way, triggering, and I just need some more time to before I before I say more, before I share more. But I do feel at least this point should be made. I really do believe to the heart of my soul that the focused attention of fierce calmness that I personally took an enormous amount of conscious effort to put out directed at the storm to meet the energy I consciously put out to meet the energy of this storm. And I personally know how powerful at least six other women in my life directly connected to me. I know these women for a fact were doing the same thing. And when I look at the statistical unlikelihood of some of the things that transpired around Sarasota and my area, I know that that focused attention made a difference. I know it. I'm not saying, I mean, I the energy I was sending out was to dissipate it consciously. I was not trying to direct it anywhere because nowhere on land with life was in a position to handle. I don't know that any place is to receive and handle, you know, the magnitude of these forces. So my, my entire focus was to just dissipate it. 
And um, so by no means am I, am I saying that places that experienced more devastation deserved it. I, I, I'm just, I'm saying that conscious focused attention matters. And living through what I just lived through and knowing what I know from my, my experience and my heart and, 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 what I just witnessed firsthand. It's a lot to process. Um, so I'm just giving myself that time. My heart goes out to anybody and everybody experiencing loss. First and foremost, those experiencing loss of life. Because the physical stuff is is a distant second. This life is precious. Being granted the gift of having a vessel to experience the magic of source through. It's a gift. And I personally believe we we chose to embody these these bodies to enlighten them with our spirits at this time for majorly big reasons. And it's, it's a, it's a, it's a gift life is. So for those who are experiencing the loss of life, I, all I can do is send compassion. Then I think the next level of seriousness is just the disruption. So roads and infrastructure, um, to allow for things like basic needs to make their way to us. There, the, this is going to be a trying time that lays ahead. I've known this was coming. And um, so I just am preparing myself to be a leader by example. One, with compassion and love guiding, two, wisdom, calmness, three, the belief that no matter what, even if I would lose my life, the essence of us never dies, but that when you are in physical form, these are very real things to physically navigate. And um, I'm, I'm not backing down from this because I know my soul chose to be here in body at this time. Doesn't mean I don't have moments of being a little scared. Of course I do. Um, the last two hours of that storm, whew, I was rocking and humming like a baby in that room right there. Literally. I was on the ground and I was just rocking and humming like a baby to try to remain calm. Uh, so I, I believe we'll be okay. But that doesn't mean it's going to be easy. And that doesn't mean it's not going to be chock full of sadness and heartache and some yucky stuff. But I cannot focus on the yucky stuff. I have to keep my attention and focus on what our abilities are even if that triggers people in doing so. So I'm gonna give some, myself some more time to process this and uh, take a couple more days before I try to give anything more voice. All right, have a good day.